All right, people, my name is Ugochuku. Today is uh, June 4th, 2021. Uh, earlier today, I brought you the, you know, the ban. I told you that uh, uh, because Nigeria has been having problem with, uh, you know, with Twitter. You remember, uh, Buhari said something about committing a genocide, Twitter deleted it and banned it. I don't know if they banned him, but I think they tweeted this. They deleted the tweet. They didn't actually ban him yet. So, like Mohammed got mad and, and said that it's not fair, that why are they allowing Nam the Kano to be on Twitter? So, that was yesterday. So, today they banned Twitter. You know, over here it's still fought. You know, in about 40, I would say about 48 minutes, he will switch over to fifth. So he's still fought here. But anyway, what had happened, uh, Nigeria, they banned Twitter. I thought it was dumb. You cannot ban, <laughs> you're messing with them, an American company. And, uh, and then, you, especially you're messing with an American technology company. You know, when you guys in Nigeria, you don't know what the hell you're doing over there. You're still operating in an analog mode. <laughs> you know, Americans are operating in a digital mode. So you don't really want to mess with the Americans. So, but we'll see what's going to happen. But let me show you. This is America, you know. In America, you can, you know, basically bypass any anybody trying to block you. It's not against the law. So what I would do in this... Uh, in this uh, uh, podcast is to show you many ways you can bypass uh, whatever they put over there in Nigeria. You can bypass bypass it and then go to Twitter. Normally it's called, um, see what they try to do, the country, a country that want to block internet or block particular specific program, right? That take, that when people, well, specific websites, you know what they do they put a block somehow they put a block in it, what they call a blocking infrastructure you know they can buy a program or get some people to install a blocking infrastructure so when you try to go to that website you you won't be able to go there you know so but there are a way you can get around that there is something called uh, well the metaphor they use is tunneling you know like you go through a tunnel uh, it's another, you know, word for circumvention. You want to circumvent whatever obstacle they put in your, in your, in your you know, in your path to internet. I will show you pictures in a minute. So basically, what happens is there are programs that uh, create a tunnel. But why the tunnel works so so good is the tunnel will create uh, an encrypt. It would encrypt your message, right? And then the message will stay encrypted until it reaches the destination where it's going, right? And then when it gets there, it encrypts it. You know, that way, if government is watching, whoever the blocking the internet is watching, or whoever is blocking Twitter is watching, all they will see is that the users, right? The users are interacting with an annoying computer, right? But they wouldn't actually be able to know what is going on. <laughs> That's how this stuff works. So, basically, you know, there are different ways you can circumvent, uh, you know, you can circumvent any block, right? Any block they put on your way to internet. The most, the most, um, the most important, uh, important way they do it, they use what they call proxy server. But, you know, don't let this stuff throw you off. All this time I mean nothing there. A proxy is just a computer. It's just like one of those computers you you know sitting in your house. So don't let it you know confuse you when they say proxy server. It's not it's not anything big deal. It's not a big deal, you know. So but anyway, let me show you. There are many ways you well, first of all, let me show you when you go to internet, what do you do? Uh let me show you that way you see basically internet when you go to internet if you're not using any proxy server right if you go directly from your house to internet this is what you're gonna do
see right there you're just gonna go uh, see this is uh, going to internet without a proxy server uh, you know a proxy is that it's like I say a proxy server creates a tunnel encrypts it and then send the message you send it you know from one place to another or if you go into internet to read them to read the message the proxy server will encrypt that message and then bring it to you then when it comes to it on crepes it's how we, that way anybody anybody that is watching what is going on in the network they can see it they just see on knowing computer so here is what is going on you see right there is internet you see internet right here internet is right here right uh, at the middle there it says internet now you go into internet without using a proxy server internet is right there <laughs> Most of the time, people when they say they go to internet, you're not going to. There's nothing called internet. It's, it doesn't exist anywhere. What you actually going? You go see these are client, client number one, client number two, now client number three. What they do when they go from their computer to another computer? See another computer and the internet. Like when you type www dot uh, dot google dot com. Uh, there is nothing out there. That, you, there's no internet out there, you know, you, you, that called Google. Basically, you go into a computer. Usually, that computer is called a web server. It's a special computer that runs uh, the most popular stuff they used to run a web that they put in a computer that runs a web server is, is um, Linux. They run Linux plus uh, Apache and other, other applications, depending on what they want to do. But basically, the clients go to internet directly from their house, directly to internet, to another computer, right? This is a situation where nobody's blocking you. You just go straight. Uh, like here in my house, I can go straight to internet. But I normally don't do I will show you in a minute. You know, so this is what most people do. They go from com computer, see client, computer, their client one. Well, I didn't write one, two, three, but the, there's a client, uh, of, you counted there are three of them. They just go straight to internet, right? Now, the problem is between the client and the internet, they, somebody can put obstacle. That's what they call, they say they will block us. Um, that in Nigeria, they say they will block out Twitter. I mean, that's all they do. Put a block. Put some kind of, a, what do you call it, a blockade? You know, they put an obstacle. They, maybe they cut off the bridge or something. But they are, like I said, there's a way you get around that, through tunnels, right? And the tunnels, uh, normally they are, they are server. I will show you. Let me get you another picture. You will see what I'm saying. Uh, so let's say you want to go to internet that is blocked. Uh-oh. Uh hang on a minute. I messed up. All right. Here we go. I dragged it, you know. But anyway, here is what normally happens. See right there? You see, you still have uh, three clients on the right-hand side going to internet. Instead of them going to internet directly, they, there's a, a plug, a proxy server between the clients and the internet, right? So they will just go through the uh, proxy server. The proxy server will then tunnel their their request to the internet. So between the internet and the proxy server, that's where the tunneling happens. You know. Um, the proxy server will create a tunnel, encrypt the message, and send it. If the government is looking, it, the government would only see uh, something called unknowing computer. They don't know where it's going. You see. So, but anyway, this is how you bypass any block. Now, let me show you another another thing here. Let me see. Now, that's what some people do. Check this out. Instead of going through one proxy server, some people have figured out a way. You see, the, the le on the left hand, well, on your right hand side is um, the clients going to internet. Instead of going to internet straight uh, uh, directly, you see right there, there there's a proxy server. Uh, there may be about twenty proxy server that would they have to go through before they get to internet. One proxy server could be sitting in uh, in Dubai. Another one could be sitting in, uh, in in India. Another one could be sitting in uh, somewhere in let's say Spain. 
another one in Israel, another one. So they sit in different countries. So you go through you go through one one proxy server, it takes you to another, takes you to another, takes you to another before it gets internet. This stuff happens very fast. It's not like it's slow. You you, you the, the your computer will still behave like boom, you are on internet. But the thing is your internet sub your internet service have to be fast. You see, I don't know how this stuff will work in Nigeria. If somebody uses a chain, it's usually called chains of proxy servers. If you do that in Nigeria, you know, because internet is very slow, they are so, you may really slow it down more. You know, so this works efficiently when the internet, uh, internet uh, service is very fast. You know, so if it's very fast, like in the United States, you won't even notice that you went to through, you went through 20 servers to get to your destination. You won't notice that. So you see it right there, from the clients, the three clients, they have to go through a proxy, they go through another 20 proxy before they get to internet. This is for this provides a, what they call stronger anonymity. So you remain anonymous. So anybody that trying to you know see what you're doing, they, they will have to spend a lot of time. And another thing this stuff is so, so useful is let's say you are in the United States, you want to go to to internet in New York. You could go to Saudi Arabia, from Saudi Arabia you go to Nigeria, from Nigeria you go to many countries and then you end up in, in the server you, you're going into in New York, right? So what that means, I mean, I, I don't tell anybody to commit crime, I don't commit crime. If you're committing crime, then the government have to go back to each of those countries to get permission to look into, to go back to find out who's doing it, where is the computer sitting, you know. But it's, that is going over your head, don't worry about that. So let me show you, um, let's see, internet with it. Let me show you something. There's something they call reverse proxy. Yeah, let me show you that right now. This is another way to really, really remain in animals. You see all that stuff? You see, this is called reverse proxy. You see the clients on the right hand side, you see internet. You know, so for you to go to internet, you actually go to this the server you see on the left called a uh, proxy. It will bring whatever you're looking for and bring it to the internet, and then you reach it. But that server is doesn't contain the information you're looking for. Look on the left side. You see, you see the three servers there. One is level web server, the on top is level app server. So they could put a lot of stuff. One server could be running applications. The middle server could be running something. And then the, the server in the bottom could, on the bottom could be running something else. So when you actually go to internet, you go to computer that, that directly to, that it leads you directly to internet, you don't actually go to the, those servers at the left. I mean, I'm sorry, on the left. You go to the proxy server, then proxy server go and brings the information and then gives it to you. The advantage of this, you see, it's kind of confusing, but it's not really confusing. The advantage is um, the people that, you know, for you to really get into the proxy server that brings the whatever you're looking for, you have to have a special, know the IP address. So there's a way they configure it. All the clients on the right hand side will have a special IP address. When they want to go to internet, they use that IP address. So if you don't have that IP address, you cannot get in. That's why this is so useful. Many big businesses they use they use this setup, right? Like banks and stuff like that. So you can get into the proxy. The proxy server brings you stuff. If you try to hack the system, you can only go into the proxy server and destroy it or do something to it. But you're not gonna get any access to those um, the three servers sitting on the left. By the way, the three servers sitting on the left, you set it up with a special IP. The only person that can see that IP is the proxy server at the middle. <laughs> the clients cannot cannot get into those three computers. They can because they don't know the IP address. So the only IP address you give them is the proxy server, the one at the middle right there. And again, the only the only person that will get it are the like the customers, you know, um, some special people that need to get access to it, you know. But other people can go to see that that is, the way it says internet. 
other people can get in there, but they cannot get into the proxy server next to it unless they have a special the special uh, IP address that is provided. And then look on top, it says reverse proxy server using, I'm sorry, reverse proxy using Injix. Injix is like, um, the, sometimes they pronounce, pronounce it Nginx, like your engine, engine of your car, Nginx. So it's like, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a web server. It's a software that runs web servers, right? It's actually, it's not a web server. It's a software that runs web server, just like Apache, right? But Injix is Injix is very special. It's very fast, you know. So if you really want to want this setup to have a reverse proxy for for you know more security, you have to use Injix. Apache does not provide this kind of setup. But anyway, so forget about that one. Now let me show you what you can use. People in Nigeria I really feel sorry for them. There are a couple of applications you can use to bypass uh, whatever they're going to put on your web. You can download this and put it on your phone or put it on your computer. The first one is TOR. It's T-O-R. Uh, type uh, torproject.org. You see, you see it. So you can, it's free. You download it, put it on your computer. What it does, it creates, it gives you a special browser. And then when you go into internet, you use that use that Tor browser. What are you doing? You go into their network. You go into Tor network series of computers. From there, they take you to internet. You know, I I, I used to use that a lot. You know, but I have, I don't use it anymore because it tends to be slow. But if you don't have a choice, use it. Download it. It's free. Then the second one is called UltraSoft. That this UltraSoft is also free. It's an, you can download it in your computer. You can download it as app. Why well, I used to use as, as UltraSoft. UltraSoft is very fast. It's, very, it's a very small program that is very fast. You know, it doesn't. If you use it, it, you don't feel like you're using anything because it's very fast. They first designed it because of China. Remember, China. They what they do is they they ban a lot of internet access. So an American company, you know. Um, Produce that and maintains it, you know. So again, go to ultrasub. I think ultrasub.com or ultrasub.org. Type ultrasub, you then you see it. Again, it comes in form of an app you can put on your phone, or you can download a version that goes in, um, uh, you know, Macintosh in, in, in OS, right? Or they also have one that goes in your yeah, Windows uh, operating system. Now the third one is VPN. That's what I use now. You know, it doesn't cost a lot of money, but you know, people that are in Nigeria, suppose you don't have money, use the first two. But the VPN can run you about from one dollar to five dollars a month. I usually buy it and pay. I pay per year. Let me show you. Let me show you mine here. I always have it on my computer because the one I subscribe is called Fruit uh, Fruit VPN. They have different tech companies that run it. What happens is uh, you, if you subscribe, you can run the stuff in, like in, run, I think they say you can run in five devices. So you can put it on your phone, put it on one, uh, four PCs, right? Or put it on four, on um, two PCs, put it on your phone and then put it on your tablet. You know, so what it does, let me show you without giving you any secret over here. This is my VPN. This is my VPN right here. See, it's running. So what this does is, uh, let me see. You see, these are the servers I can go to. Look at that, Argentina, Australia. I can connect to internet through all these servers. See that Canada East, Canada West, China, Costa Rica. You see all that, Germany, India. So what I do is I, I say connect. Once I connect, this is Luxembourg. Once I connect, then I'm using an IP from Luxembourg, right? So if I go to internet, you're not gonna see my IP in my house. You see the I, I'm using IP from Luxembourg. So you, if you wanna trace me, you have to go to Luxembourg and talk to them over there. You know, but it's unlikely they will talk to you. You know, so so there are different IPC. These are all different IPC. In the United States, they have a lot of uh, places right there. See, 
see these are all different IPs I can use any of them I just click click connect once it's connected then I just open my browser and then I'm ready to go I'm coming from I can be coming from Canada see I can just once I say connect I click any of my browser and then I'm ready to go you know like I said this cost me about I think about two or three dollars look at there you can you see that I have 638.68 days left what I do is if it gets to one month left I, I go pay another one year you know um, I usually pay in um, I think one year is about 50 bucks you know but but you know people in Nigeria some of them don't have money you know people are struggling you know, struggling to survive you see you know so they may not be able to afford this you see so you gotta feel sorry for them that's why you have to use the free stuff if you don't have i think they say there are some free, free vpns out there but i haven't used them the two i have used are the number one and number two especially number two number two is very good you know go and download it and use it if you use that you can bypass anything that nigerian government puts on your way to twitter anything they try to block you to twitter you bypass it and don't forget the nigerian government they don't know what they're doing what they will probably do is, you know, go to those people that provide internet access and tell them to block everybody. That's what they will do. But I saw what? You know, I used to have, um, without giving away too much, I used to have a website I used to go to to download stuff. My internet provider started blocking them. That's a way you get around that, right? Like I told you, they put a block, you use tunnel, right? You use tunnel, all they see is unknowing computer. They won't they won't see me going through there but they will they will know i'm doing something but they don't know where i'm going that's the thing they will see unknowing computer coming from my house but they're not gonna know what i'm doing because what happens is like i said it creates a tunnel it encrypts the message and from your house when it gets to where you know where it's going it encrypts it you know so they can try whatever they want they will know another way you confuse the is you chain it I can use Ultrasoft plus my VPN, right? So I can start my, my VPN and then I'm using, say, an IP from Canada and then I, I start Ultrasoft and then from VP, from IP from Canada, I go to another IP, Ultrasoft will provide me. From there, I go to internet. So it's more... You know, it gives you more anonymity, but I usually don't do that. I just use different IPs because I'm not doing anything wrong. I just, I just want to remain private. You know, I want, I cherish my privacy. So I do all this stuff because I want my privacy. I don't want anybody poking in, seeing what I'm doing. You know, so, so the, 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 the provider we use here, sometimes they block certain websites. You know, you know, there was a time they passed, tried to pass a law here. One stupid guy. Because you know there are places you go download stuff you need. There are different stuff you can download. They try to ban it here, but they're wasting their time. People know how to get around that. You know, anybody trying to pass anything here, you're just wasting your time, man. It's not gonna work. You know. But anyway, so this is what I have for you. Let me leave it there. Tomorrow I may have something else.